Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Rider's Rambling. It's a rare occasion now, or they seem to be, with this, uh, these problems. Just hold on a moment, the music in my ear is a bit loud, that's better. Oh dear, never mind. Okay, yes, so... We have a Rider's Ramblings, a rare one. Yes, I'm off to do a, an entrance exam for four people. Um, for entry into... Whoops, sorry, just wondering what the young lady on the bicycle was uh, going to do whether she was going to do a, a left there anyhow yes uh, an entrance exam for September um, the course is starting in September so I think it's probably the the only time I'll be there before September um, because all the courses have now f finished and um, yeah, so all of the courses are finished for the year. So we will see. We will see. It's a bit sad, really, because uh, I'm uh, not really getting out and about on the bike. Um, I am taking both bikes out once a week, um, and now that's very clever, Fiat, don't know if you can see that there. Oh, here's another one that's been clever. So, anyhow, I am taking both bikes out at least once a week, and uh, giving them a run, but it's uh, not like it used to be. As I say, the black bike. We used to do this one. We used to do about uh, 200 miles or so every week. And now we're doing, if we're lucky, 30 miles. And uh, the other bike, the blue bike, the Yamaha. Um, a bit more I'm doing on average about 150 miles a week on that usually on a Saturday or a Sunday Charlie in the Ford Focus is obviously in a hurry to do something but I don't think he knows really what he wants to do. Anyhow, yes, so giving the bikes a run, yes, because uh, most of the work I'm doing is on Zoom. So it's on the computers. And, uh, not 
actually in the office. So which is a problem. You could have crossed there, mate, I think you'd have made it. So much uh, much less much much less on uh, the Honda I've been thinking about insurance on on the Honda actually and uh, I think it's come to the time when I need to reevaluate the amount of insurance I have on her because technically she has little or no value and uh, my excess is such that If something does happen and she gets written off, I won't get any money because it'll be the excess. And that'll be it. So I think uh, time has come to, to change. So we will see. I need to do that at some point. Ah, he did beat me. Depends on the lights. It does. It depends on the lights. Right. Well, I see the pubs were open on Saturday in the UK <coughs> with the usual uh, problems that people have when they start drinking. In France, they actually opened the pubs, well, the bars and the restaurants on a Monday um, with the hope that they would uh, not be quite so manic and it seems to have been a good idea in France because the scenes quite weren't quite so bad as uh, some of the news media outlets are reporting it in the UK and uh, so on but uh, I was uh, I was out on uh, Saturday and apart from the fact that you have to reserve a table at a restaurant everything is more or less normal um, the restaurant did actually have a, a more limited menu than normal but that, apart from that as I say the restaurant was more or less full. I didn't notice any extra spacing between the tables and so on, so we that's in France, so we'll have to see. Mm. Anyhow, it's uh, coming up to the French holidays and they'll be all wanting to go away for their summer holidays at the end of next week <clears throat> I noticed that uh, on Friday and Saturday the roads south of Paris were pretty busy I would imagine the roads 
going to the west were also fairly busy as well um, going towards holiday country and uh, I think this coming Friday what's the date today? Today is the 6th of the 11th I think this coming Friday it will be exceptionally busy on the roads so if you're thinking of coming to to France this week it might not be a, the best idea you've had um, because this is the start of the holidays and so I think this coming weekend it's going to be fairly manic on the roads I do fairly manic and then the traffic in Paris will be very quiet because ooh Root Barre. How the hell am I supposed to get there then? I have to go the other way. That was a good uh, good thing. I'm wondering why it's barred at 800 meters. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. Oh, the girls are out in force. So we'll have to see if I can get there. We'll try going in from the other side. Let's see what's happening. And see why. Most strange. Oh, I see. They're doing a trial of. Um, is it this one? No, I can't remember where I am now. No, it's not this one, it's the next one. They're doing a trial of the self driving buses, that's what it is. So I think next time I'll just come through. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, we're back again on my way home. I've got a report to write up. I'll see what this road is like. I think because they've got this the road is blocked. <clears throat> because they're doing the um self-driving shuttle bus tests probably during the summer and I notice quite a lot of vehicles still coming down so in typical French fashion people are totally ignoring the the fact that the road is blocked which is a pretty good idea actually Still too British, I think, and um, therefore, if something is blocked, we tend to assume it's totally blocked. Whereas in France, if something is blocked, you only can't go through if it is completely blocked. So, yes, hmm, interesting. We will see. Well, the girls are here out. But they've moved. So I 
don't know why they've moved to that position. I thought business was better elsewhere. Never mind. Ah! So it's a bit of a cool day. It looks like I'm going to have to do a bit of work and um, see if we can change some of the systems. Interesting. Today we had somebody who's half Irish. bit of banter with him. Ah, hello 95, that's a very good place to... leave your vehicle. Feels a bit strange being here actually. It does. Feels a bit strange. Come on Charlie, I can't go anywhere because you're blocking the road. that time of day when they're testing for the virus so everybody's outside the laboratory waiting for their tests normally you have to pay for tests and things like that in in France but uh, there's a sort of dispensation for the virus and uh, you don't have to pay for that. Oh, they made a mess here. This is going to be really interesting in September and October when it starts raining. I think we're going to see a real mess, unfortunately. So I really don't think this has been thought through. The central government have said we'll give you lots of money if you do this. So they've all thought we'll do this. And I noticed the message boards have lit up with complaints about about it. So. Uh, people are not happy. Maybe the functionaries in the administration might get the uh, message because I came through one part of Crete last week and the traffic jam was legendary and there was no reason for it. I mean, it wasn't at a busy time of day, it wasn't at rush hour, but the traffic jam was uh, all the way back onto one of the motorways. And I think the police might have a, a word or two to say about that. With, uh, because I can see there being A few accidents there. I don't know what's going on here. Somebody gone asleep? I don't know. Maybe youngsters just being silly. It's an electric BMW in front, so he's got a bit of oomph. Quite a lot of talk in that. EV, electric vehicle. Good number plate as well, having an EV number plate for an electric vehicle. Ah. Oh, 
somebody parking. Traffic wardens are out again. There's a sort of slang term for them in France. They're known as aubergines because of the colour of their uniform. But uh, I think the correct term is contractual. Is it contractual? Yes. Contractual depends on whether you're male or female, as it's contractual or contractuel. So, yes. Aha, uh -huh. Uber Eats being idiots. I think I've said before that uh, the guys on these uh, 50cc scooters and so on have the same rights as bicycles so that they can go in the cycle lanes and things like this. They're considered bicycles, although you do need insurance and so on for them. Um, so, yes. So they've got... They tend to think like they're bicycles. Uh, ride like them as well which is uh, that's very clever Mr. White Car are you trying to kill the biker not very clever did that badly just been on a course to learn how to turn corners and there's me messing up a corner I don't know What a lot of Uber Eats, eh? Yeah? Good grief. Ten past three. People ordering pizzas or whatever. I find that quite surprising. Yes, Mr. White Car. I think the person in front is going slow because you've been a bit of an idiot. What? It's uh, something I need to become more accustomed to again after during the lockdown, I'd forgotten a bit about Priority or Twat. Hard. So. Mm. so now we've got the new pollution problem. We need all these masks lying on the floor. I don't know if you spotted them. But, uh, people just rip off their masks and then leave them. a bit greasy there. Definitely a bit greasy. Anyhow, we're nearly home, so I'll say thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you next time. Any comments, please leave them below. Thank you.